Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have I got a great lesson for you today. First, we're gonna help out our art teacher, and then we're gonna build some shelves in a bookstore. And for that, we're gonna use some division tricks. What would you do, for example, if you can't divide one number exactly? Imagine you're at the playground and there are 21 balls that need to be divided between two teams. Each team will have 10 balls and one will be left over. Sounds tricky, doesn't it? Well, this one ball is called the remainder in math. You would say it like 21 divided by 2 equals 10 with the remainder of 1. Now let's think about how you would write this down. Start with the long division symbol that you already know. Then write the dividend, the number you are going to divide, under the symbol. 21 goes here. Then on the left comes the divisor, the number you're dividing by. In this case, 2. The result from the division is your quotient, and it goes above the long division symbol. So you write 2 here. Just don't forget to add the remainder as well. You have a remainder of 1. Now that was a really simple example, I know. But you've got the idea now, right? Also, to be sure you divided correctly, use multiplication. When you multiply the quotient by the divisor and add the remainder, the result has to be the dividend. And it is. Great! Now let's practice with a few problems. Problem 1. Jenny wants to help her art teacher get ready for class. There are 277 pieces of paper that need to be put into packets of four. How many packets can Jenny make? Well, to answer this question, you will divide 277 by 4. All right, long division here, but you already know the steps. Let's do it! Start from left to right, from the hundreds to the ones. 2 is less than 4, so you need to take the tens as well. And how many 4s are there in 27? 6 4s are 24, and 7 4s are 28. But that's already more than 27. We need to put 6. Put 6 on top of the line. 6 times 4 is 24, so 24 goes below 27. 27 minus 24 is 3. Just don't stop here. One more digit is waiting for you. Now move the 1's digit next to 3, and you have 37. And how many 4's are there in 37? If you go for 9, yep, that's it. 4 goes in the answer spot, and then you multiply. 9 times 4 is 36. Subtract. 37 minus 36 is 1. And game over. No more digits. Which means you've just divided 277 by 4, and the result you got is 69 with a remainder of 1. Now, let's check the multiplication to make sure we were correct. You'll multiply 4 by 69, and... This is really important. Add back in the remainder. Multiplication starts from the very last digit, or the ones place, from right to left. 4 times 9 is 36. So you write down the 6 at the ones place, bring the 3 above the tens. 4 times 6 is 24, plus these 3 here is 27. The result was 276. Oh, don't forget the remainder though, 276 plus 1, so here we have 277. Ooh, that's the same. You've divided the numbers correctly. So now we have our answer. You can make 69 packets with four pieces of paper in each, and there will be one piece of paper left over. Now the second problem is waiting for you. A bookstore has 9,675 books. That's a lot of books. If eight books fit on each shelf, how many shelves are needed? Ooh, that is a mighty, mighty big number here. But there's no time to waste. And I have a suspicion there's going to be remainder in this one. What do you think? Let's divide step by step, starting from left to right. How many eights make a nine? We're almost a nine. One. So we write it above the line. One times eight is eight. Nine minus eight is one. One thousand is the remainder from the first step. Move the hundreds down and you have sixteen. How many eighths are there in 16? Exactly two. So two goes in the answer spot. Two times eight is 16. 16 minus 16 is zero. So there's no need to write it down. Just don't let the zero mislead you. We have two more digits to go. Bring the seven tens down. Hmm, seven is less than eight. Tricky moment here. Don't forget the zero in the answer and bring the ones down. Now you need to divide 75 by eight. 
the closest number to 75 that will do the job here is 72 because 9 times 8 is 72. Write down 9 in the answer. Multiply and subtract 75 minus 72 equals 3. And that was it. Here's the answer. 9,675 divided by 8 is 1,209 with a remainder of 3. Check the problem again. They ask you how many shelves are necessary for all of the books. Well, the bookstore needs 1,209 shelves that'll all be full and an extra shelf for these three remaining books. Or in total, 1,210 shelves. And to be safe, let's just check the division because, well, you know, digits have the ability to play tricks from time to time. So, we multiply the quotient, 1,209, by the divisor, 8, and we add back in the remainder. 1,209 multiplied by 8, we draw the line, and let's do it! Start from the 1's. 8 times 9 is 72. Write down 2, move the 7 10's above the 10's column. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 7 is 7. Write 7 10's in the answer. 8 times 2 equals 16, so we write down 600s and move the 1 above the thousands column. And last step, but not least, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and the result is exactly what we need, 9,672. When you add the remainder of 3, you have the number of all the books, 9,675. Woo, great job! It's not just that we've practiced division, or that I've shown you how division with a remainder works. Now you know how to check your answers with multiplication as well. I call that a double bonus. See you in the next video lesson, mighty friend.